Welcome to episode two of the Garnacho player career mode. And last episode, we really struggled in the one game that we played. It did not go well until we got subbed on at 0-0. And the game ended up ending 4-0 after we missed about three or four massive chances. But the promising thing is, since then, Garnacho managed to score a brace in real life against Chelsea. Even though they bottled it, it doesn't really matter. Hopefully that form can continue onto this career mode where we have our first game that we're starting away to Napoli. It's going to be a good one. We really need to start picking up some goals, increase the confidence, ready for the Premier League season. Because as it stands, we will be starting in the team for the Premier League. So let's see how this game goes. Okay, we've got the ball early doors now. We just want the first few possessions to keep the ball, not lose anything, not do anything stupid. But maybe we could do him something better than that. We're running behind now. Can we get our shot off? It's a good save. It's a good save. We should have maybe done a little bit better, but it was a tight angle. Keeper came out. It's a promising start. Only a few minutes in. A big chance already. Okay, at least Ferran, by the looks of it, isn't in DM today. But it doesn't matter. Our defence last time was awful, and that's a bit better. Against a better team as well. A bit promising already. Hoyne's just played it to us. We've played him through again. Oh, he's running away as well. This could be an assist. He's played it one more. I'm not sure about that. And then, what is that? There's, there's no cohesion at all. That is awful play. We need to do better than that if we want to be beating Napoli. Oh, no. No, they're in behind. Our defence has not changed from last game, maybe, at all. No. And we're 1-0 down, 18 minutes in. Our defence just split, and the Georgian man has scored against us. It's a nightmare already. Why are our defence so incapable of just putting in a challenge and not running away from the ball? Yeah, we're going to be scoring a lot of goals if we want to be winning games, basically. Because we're going to be conceding about two or three a game by the looks of it. We've got the ball now, though. We'll play maybe a 1-2 with Hoyland. We're running through now. We'll call for the ball. Okay, what can we do here? We're going to try and get a shot off. Good save. Good save. That was a tight angle. Player won us as well. Done well to get a half decent shot off there. Anthony on the corner. I'm not sure about that at all. Okay, it's come out to us here, though. We're going to try and put a cross in at the far post. Managed to find Hoyland. He's gone for goal. I'm not sure if that was quite the right choice, but it was a decent ball in from us. Good start, I'd say, so far. 7.3 rating in 24 minutes. Not bad at all. It's a big win there. Straight out to us. We've got the ball. We're going to try and switch it to Anthony. Managed to find him. Casemiro now. Can he find us? Yes, he can. There we go. Our first goal with Garnacho, and we've equalised against Napoli. It was great play from us. We received the ball. Player to Anthony. He gives it to Casemiro. We make a great run. And an unbelievable finish to seal our first goal of the career. A great finish. Let's have a replay of this. Casemiro over the top. Perfectly timed run. A first time volley on the right foot like that. That's Van Persie-esque. What a goal that is. Hopefully a bit more of that in the season and we could be on to things. Oh, we've done, we've done excellent there and we've received the ball back. We are up here by ourselves. But we've got the legs for it. We've got the legs for it. If no one's going to try and stop us, we'll carry on going. And we're throwing goal here. This could be our second of the game. And to take the lead. No. No. We've put it wide. We've got to be finishing that. We've done so well to create the opportunity. It's the exact same position as last game where we missed about three chances. Coming in from the left. Trying to finesse a cross goal. And that's the worst of the bunch. Not even on target. An absolutely awful attempt there. I like the fact that we're up from corners. It gives us good opportunities to counter like we did last time. But only if we win the ball. Harry Maguire with a massive diving header there. Love that. And she's headed it, but we're never going to win that. But what a header that was from Harry Maguire. Okay, here we go though. This could be a real opportunity if Hoyle wants to play us. We're going to try and cut inside early. Oh, okay, we've gone through our man. This has to be it now. We can't miss from here again. We're going to go near post. Oh my god, we've missed again. Why can't we finish one-on-ones? We're going to be benched. Rashford, he's there talking to Ten Hag. He's saying, get Garnacho off the pitch, mate. He can't finish to save his life. Oh, once again, they're running through our team like they're not even there. Maguire's probably been our best defender, though. He, Oh, no. Aussie men, we're 2-1 down. I just can't believe how bad our defence are. We need a replay on this. Because what are they doing? Look, as I'm saying, Maguire is doing all right. He does. He holds up his man, but he doesn't get back in position. Ossiemen's in behind, and he finishes. Something that we haven't learned how to do yet. And Rashford's coming on. Luckily for Anthony, I'm surprised it's not for us with the level of finishing we've had today. But he's got a bit of faith in us. We're getting a bit more opportunity to show what we can do. Play inside to Fernandez. He's played it into Hoyland. Back to Fernandez. We'll call for it over here so we can get the ball out wide early. Now we need Shaw on that overlap. We're going to try and find him. 
he goes again. He hasn't. He's kind of held back. So we'll just go by ourselves for a bit. We'll keep going by ourselves. But they're going to keep pushing back. And we'll put it across goal. There we go. One goal, one assist. And we're back level in the game. Great run from us there. No one came near us. I think it was Casemiro, wasn't it? Not sure why he's the furthest player up. But a great pass across and an easy finish as he could have asked for. But lovely stuff there. We've got one goal, one assist. And that's put us onto a 10 rating. Absolutely unbelievable game for us. If only we could finish, we would have had about four goals to go with that one assist. Oh, and we're in trouble here. Politano, he's took it a bit wide probably, so we might be all right. Luke Shaw has tackled him, but he's lost it straight away. And here is where the trouble starts. And that's where the game probably ends. 3-2, Raspadori has sealed it for them. Everyone's on the ground upset. But if we just learn how to defend, we wouldn't need to be upset because we wouldn't be conceding three or four goals every single game. But what can we do? We need to start finishing our chances and kill games off. But look at them there, celebrating a friendly like they've just won the World Cup. It's embarrassing. It's absolutely embarrassing from them. Oh, this could go from bad to worse once again. They could be through 91st minute. It happened last time. They got their fourth goal last game in the 91st. And they've done it again here. 92nd minute this time and it's another four goals conceded back-to-back -back games. The defence is absolutely useless. Things need to change before we get into the Premier League. Otherwise, we're going to get absolutely embarrassed by every single team. We started all right as well, but two quick goals and the game's absolutely done and dusted. That'll be it. The ref will blow up now and it is. Individually, we had a quite good game. Could have done with a bit of better finishing, but we shouldn't need to score four goals to get a point. So it's just a bit annoying, really. We've got a goal and assist. Can't ask for much more, to be fair. And I'm sure the gaffer will be happy with our performance, considering I think we must have ended on a nine-something. I didn't see it. But I'm sure Ten Hag will be happy with us. He is. We're literally the peak of starting 11 right now. So we're basically the first name on the team sheet, which isn't bad at all. But we do have our first... What are these? Are these personality? Oh, no, these are these are traits. And we've got finesse shot. Is it the only one we have the option of? Oh, no, OK. We have a few play styles to pick from. So we've got finesse shot, which I think is actually going to be, I think it's got to be finesse shot. It simply has to be finesse shot because every time we go through one-on-one, -on -one, we use it and it just goes miles wide. So we've got to be using finesse shot. I think it's as simple as that to decide. But I think there's only one game left of pre-season and we've got to win. Or at least we've got to stop conceding so many goals every single game. That's got to be the bare minimum we require now. We'll drop a training session in beforehand. We'll sim it all. We're up to 77 rated, which is a nice bonus. But, I mean, if we keep conceding four goals a game, it doesn't matter what rating we are, we're not going to win. But, last game of the episode now, and the next episode will be the start of the Premier League season. It's a strong team we've got out, so hopefully it's a strong performance. But let's see how we do in the game. Okay, early doors. Can We, we need a big challenge early doors. We need to show that we actually mean a bit of intent behind these challenges otherwise they may just run through us once again it looks like they're going to okay that's a solid interception there can we counter though that's the question it's basically it's kind of a three on three here if we can push it up quick enough and we're in a bit of space now we're through on goal early doors no we, that's too heavy of a touch but can Hoyland finish no oh we've absolutely messed that up we've absolutely messed that up we've got to be finishing that one the touch was way too heavy. It gave the keeper too big of a chance. But we could be through again if we're found. Surely. There we go. Seven minutes in. We've put ourselves 1-0 up. We've made up for that silly mistake we just made instantly there. Great ball through to us. I thought the keeper was just about to rob it off us again. But we made no mistake of it this time. Pulling it in the back of the net. We're 1-0 up. Look at this. Great run. The defender was so deep. We were never going to be offside. And look at that. Straight in across goal. Unbelievable. Against the Choa as well. This could be a bit of a nightmare of a game. But we're 1-0 up against him. Early doors. Oh, it's a risky bit of skill from us here. It's risky. We have lost the ball, but we should be all good. There we are. We've got the ball again. Let's give it to Shaw. I'm liking the idea of playing with Shaw. I feel like he could be offering some good link up for us. But we're running through again here. We're going to cut it back. There we go. That's one goal, one assist in 13 minutes. We mean business. Now, as long as the defence do not mess up, this should be a nice and comfy win. Giving us a bit of momentum before the Premier League starts. But we're on fire at the minute. That's now four goal involvements in the last, what, game and 15 minutes? We're looking good. Ready for the Premier League. It's just whether the team aside us are. But it's going well so far, so I won't be too negative yet. That's good defending from Maguire. We're seeming a lot more solid now. We've got the ball. 
Fernandez is going to try and go in behind. We're going to give him to him early. He gave it straight back to us. Play it across. Nice, comfy football. And this is good stuff. This is really good stuff. Hoyland with the shot. And it's 3-0. We weren't directly involved in that one. But we played a massive part in the build-up. 3-0 in 28 minutes. We're absolutely on smoke now. Ready for the Prem. Look at this. Most of it was just all one-touch pass. And then Fernandez plays through Hoyland. Hoyland, that's an unbelievable finish as well from that distance. We're trying to track back. We put in a challenge. Unbelievable challenge of that as well. Risky because it could have very easily been a penalty. But we've won that and timed it to perfection. We can do it at both ends clearly. Okay, surely that's our ball. It is. Can we now win this header? We can. Can Fernandez get there? He oh, just about missed out. That's unlucky. We're playing good stuff though. That's the main thing. And as it stands, we still have yet to slip up at the back. Oh, this is a good play. Can we now receive the ball? We can. We've now got space in front of us to run into. We're going to go straight to the defenders. Jerome Boateng. We've just messied him. Now we're through on goal. Ochoa. There we go. Second goal of the game. 4-0 in 41 minutes. That's how you be clinical. We've only missed one chance, but we made up for it straight away. So, as it stands, we're actually being clinical in front of goal for once. Two one on ones And we've scored basically both of them. That's a very good finish as well. We've skinned Jerome Boateng. And look at that. The finesse shot. Because we've got the play style now, we're not going to be missing them. I can see us scoring a lot of goals like that. Cutting in from the left. That is absolutely amazing. Perfect first half here. We've got the ball again. We're going to just run at our man here. We're full of confidence. Try a bit of skill maybe. Oh, and we've absolutely skinned him. We're now going to try and play through Fernandez. He's got space. Can we get our second assist of the game? Yes, we can. Two goals and two assists for Garnacho in the first half of football. Man United are 5-0 up. This is some way to end pre-season. Absolutely perfect game so far for us. We're on a 10 rating. Everything is going right. As long as the defence continue how they're doing, we're going to be fine. We skinned our man. Great ball through to Fernandez, and he's never messing that one up. Perfect first half. Surely. No. Okay, well, at least it was from a set piece, not... The defence splitting from open play again. But we've surely... I think that was Maguire marking him. Surely Maguire's beating him in the air. Surely. It is annoying because the clean sheet would have been nice as a bit of momentum. But yeah, it is Maguire's man. He's lost his man. He's got the wrong side of him. And then from there, it's an easy header. It is annoying. But at least we're still 5-1 up. Oh, they could be through here. I don't think we're going to have the speed to catch up. So Dia could be on him for a second of the game. And he is. Once again, the defence are just split. It's so frustrating watching that because it should just be stopped so easily. And we've scored five goals so easily, but then we gave away two. It's so annoying because we're not going to score five goals every game. So why can't we keep a clean sheet in a game where we've scored five goals? There's no reason to be conceding. I think this could be us coming off. It is 17s off and Mason Mount is on. What a performance. So what was it in the end? Two goals and two assists. That's unbelievable. It contributed in all five goals, really, as well. We were massive on the goal that we didn't get a goal or assist for. A 10 rating. Absolutely perfect game in an individual standpoint and almost perfect in a team standpoint if we could have just kept that clean sheet. Let's simulate the rest and see how they do, though. It remains a 5-2. Absolutely perfect game for us, anyway. And the manager is going to be very, very happy for us. Look at that. Well, apparently we didn't complete some objectives, but we got four goal involvements, which seems a bit stupid. But oh well. But now it is the Premier League and this is where we're going to leave this episode and pick up the next one. The Premier League, this is going to be the real test to see how good we actually are. But like I said, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. So if you have enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and comment any suggestions you have. But until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.